Hello everyone, this is Simon from writtenlegalenglish.com and welcome to another video where we look at another legal English writing error or business English writing error and we'll try to identify it and try to redraft the sentences in order to eliminate that error. This week we're going to have a look at unclear antecedents. This is a writing error that native speakers love to make and it's something that everyone can be guilty of including uh, experienced writers which is why the drafting and redrafting and rereading and redrafting process that you go through when you're writing a document is so important in order to identify these unclear antecedents. These are the sentences let me just turn over the page. Uh, these are the uh, sentences that I would like you to have a look at. You'll also see them above if you're watching this on Facebook or below if you're watching this on YouTube. And what I'd like you to do is read the sentences, um, identify what the error is, and then redraft the sentences in such a way as to eliminate the error and make things a lot clearer. If you don't know what unclear antecedents are, then if you have a look, you'll see that there's a link to my old explainer video about uh, substitution in which we talk about, uh, in which I talk about unclear antecedents. And there's also another link to a fantastic website which explains what unclear antecedents are in a lot of detail. Okie dokie, so have fun with those this week and I'll see you again at the end of the week to give you my thoughts on this and to talk you through uh, how I would rewrite this. See you then.